Health is critically important to older people. What is my health going to be like as I grow older? In the early part of last century, and the century before that, and before that, and before that, people were very worried about even just getting enough food to eat. Uh, more recently, we're interested in uh, pe people getting the right kinds of foods to eat uh, for their health. And then everyone's an expert in nutrition. Everyone eats. Uh, so they think they know uh, what they need, but actually nutrition is a very complex science that has a, has a long uh, history and with time we're learning more and more about what are the, some of the best foods and some of the key nutrients that people need to age successfully. So we um, obtained a tool from uh, Gladys Block, it's a food frequency instrument. It has about a hundred different foods and food categories on it and we asked older people how often do you eat apples, bananas, green beans, beef, hamburgers, french fries, all about a hundred different foods that are very common in the U.S. population. And what we found in that study when we compared our 100-year-olds with our 80-year-olds and our 60-year-olds, that 100-year-olds do indeed have a distinct dietary pattern. The pattern is what we call a southern dietary pattern. It was high in sweet potatoes and greens and fried chicken and whole milk and bacon and sausage and came rather as quite a shock that that was what these 100-year-old people were eating. So upon reflecting on that, what, we, what I think we were really seeing is a cohort effect. These are the foods that people eat in the South uh, at the turn of the last century. So is it true that you cannot differentiate whether this diet is a longevity diet or not? I don't really think we can. I'm skeptical, uh, as a scientist should be, that this is the diet that uh, people should eat to live to 100. It is difficult to assess someone's um, diet and to have them remember the different foods they eat. And we do have a lot of questions on how well people absorb nutrients as they age. And so that we also, combined with what people are eating, we also need to know what are their blood levels of these nutrients so we can find out more about how much of these foods they're eating, the nutrients they contain, actually is reaching uh, the body.